Hello, welcome to the Margin Art Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to go over how you can recover your Gmail account without the two-step verification process as of this year, as of 2024. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We are going dark. So I'm going to try and squeeze in as many methods as I can. So keep up, keep up, keep up. So let's talk about some things you should know. Depending on your location, you may be able to skip entering a phone number when creating a Gmail account. Uh, if you still need to verify your phone number, you can get a temporary number or borrow a phone from a friend. If you are trying to access your Gmail account using two-step authentication, but can't access your phone, you can use your backup phone or backup code. So here is method one we have the skip option uh you know this is gonna be like you know when you you're gonna see uh the sign in and the create account and peter you can put that on the screen so go to the new account creation page uh and you know th these steps are different depending on the platform you're using meaning android iphone or ipad in the gmail app tap your profile photo and select add another account tap google and then tap create account in a browser click uh you know, you, you know, you're going to want to, uh, you know, click this link to access the sign up page because Google requires phone numbers in certain regions. This method will not work for everyone. Right. Uh, next, you're going to want to follow the on screen instructions until you reach the phone number entry screen. Depending on your platform, you may have to enter additional information such as your name before entering your phone number. You must provide a backup email address to create an account without a phone number and when prompted provide an email address that you will use if you get locked out of your account uh, step three click or tap skip on the phone number page if it's possible for you to create an account without verifying a phone number in your region you'll see the option to skip this step if you don't have the option to skip this you know if you don't have the option to skip this feature will not be available in your region in that case you're going to have to try another method and with that being said, let's go to our another method. Our another method is signing up with a temporary phone number. So we're, we're in method two now. So you want to get a temporary phone number that can receive texts. When you sign up for a new Google account, you'll need to verify, you know, a confirmation code that can only be received via SMS or voice uh, phone call. So if you don't have, you know, your phone number, here are a few ways you can use one temporarily. If you already have a separate Google account and live in the United States, you can read a Google Voice phone number for free. Uh, depending on your region, you may be able to sign for a dis uh, disposable phone number. Legitimate versions of these services are rarely free, but services like Hushed and Text Verified are affordable and legitimate. You can use someone else's phone and phone number during the verification process. The phone should be in the same room as you can get the code. If that's not possible, you can email or chat with a friend online and ask if they will, you know, receive your confirmation code and provide it to you for verification. Uh, next, you're going to want to go to the new account creation page. And again, these steps are different depending on the platform you're using. So on Android, iPhone and iPad in the Gmail app, tap your profile photo and select add another account, tap Google and then tap create account in a browser. Click this link to access the sign in page, which is what you're going to have to do, right? Uh, follow the on-screen instructions until you reach the phone number entry screen. Depending on your platform, you may have to enter additional information such as your name before entering your phone number. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Next, enter your temporary phone number and select next. Uh, a special code will be sent to the number via SMS text message. If the phone doesn't receive text messages, follow the on-screen instructions to receive a phone call instead. Now you're going to want to verify the code. The code begins with a G and will be in, a, in, in the body of the text message from Google. If you're using an Android, tap next. If you're using your web browser, click verify. As long as the code is correct, you can move to the next step of the account creation process. Uh, and then remove your phone from the account. So if you're using a phone number that won't belong to you long term, remo remove it from your account so nobody can access your password. So and here's how to do that. On an Android, uh, iPhone or iPad, follow the on-screen on -screen instructions to create your email address and password. Once the password is set, scroll down and tap more options. Tap do not add uh, my phone number and then tap done. In a browser, once the phone is verified, you may be prompted to get more from your phone number. And if you see this on the screens, click skip. 
uh, to get the next screen. And if you don't see this, you should be at the right place, a form with a uh, phone number blank. Delete the phone number from this blank, fill out the form and click next. Uh, lastly, for this method, you're going to want to complete the account setup process. So once you've completed the remaining steps, your Google account will be created and ready to use. No, fo no phone number is associated with the account. If you weren't able to remove your phone number, go to uh, the myaccount.google.com slash phone in a web browser. Click on, click your phone number and click trash. Click the trash icon to delete it. Now let's get into the next method. Method three, recovering an account without a phone number. So go to the Gmail account recovery page at the uh, accounts.google.com slash sign in slash recovery. If you lost access to your Gmail account and no longer have access to the phone number you've added on your account, you can still recover it using your email address. If you set up two-step authentication for your Gmail account, use this method instead. This method will work best if you use it from your computer, phone, or tablet from which you signed in to that Gmail account. Enter your username and click next. You will be prompted for a password. You're gonna wanna click try another way. It's at the bottom of the page. Uh, and then you're gonna wanna enter your recovery email address, click next. You'll see the option if you've added a recovery address for this account. Uh, enter the name associated with, the, with your account and click next. As long as the name and recovery email address match your account, you'll receive an email from Google to, to your backup address that contains instructions for resetting your password. Once you receive the confirmation email, click the link inside your reset password. To my knowledge, you can also, uh, you know, you can also do it using the two-step verification without a phone. Uh, you know, if, if you have the code sent to your backup phone, uh, if, you know, if you use the two-step verification, uh, I believe you're given the option to designate a backup phone just in case you lose access to your main phone. Uh, I believe you do that by going to the sign in page and attempt to log in, click try another way and tap more options, click or tap, and then you're going to want to click or tap, uh, get verification code, follow the on-screen instructions to log in. And, uh, I think the code is going to be sent to your backup phone. Then, you know, you're going to want to use the backup codes associated with your account. If you didn't set a backup phone, you might have chosen to write down an eight digit backup code instead. Uh, you're going to want to click on the sign in page and attempt to log, you know, attempt to log in. Click try another way, you know, to sign in or tap more options. Select enter one of your eight digit backup codes. Enter your backup code to log back in. And then uh, I believe you can use the account, Google's account recovery tool. Um, and that's like the accounts.google.com slash sign in slash recovery. Uh, so those are four methods, guys. Four methods that I give y'all. I gave y'all four methods. Look, look at, look at that. Look at that. Uh, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I just want to say I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate your support. Uh, is there a better way that you feel? Please let me know in the comment section below. Stay safe and have a great rest of your day. See you in the next video.